the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 106, 2 Samuel 13 to 14. Terrible brothers feud and raised by Amnon, his stepbrother, who raped his sister Tamar, Absalom killed him, fled, and then returned to Jerusalem three years later. First point, the conflict between David's sons was a lot more brutal compared to the conflict between Jacob's sons. We saw how serious the conflict between Jacob's sons was in Genesis 37, verse 8, 37, verse 28, and 50, verse 15. But the conflict between David's sons was even more brutal than Jacob's sons. It went as far as David's sons Absalom murdering his stepbrother Amnon as revenge. This instant had its roots in the disaster that had taken place two years previously. Second point, Amnon, who had an evil friend, ended up getting murdered. After David murdered the innocent Uriah, David's household went down into turmoil. David's son Amnon loved his stepsister Tamar, but when he was unable to pursue her, Due to the rules of a kingdom of priests, he became ill. Amnon became so obsessed with his sister that he listened to Jonadab's foolish plan to be alone with her. Jonadab's scheme was to fool David the king. David, who had no idea about this scheme, allowed Amnon to meet his sister. David sent word to Tamar at the palace. Go to the house of your brother Amnon and prepare some food for him. When Tama went to her brother with food, he tried to rape her, but she resisted. But because he was much stronger than her, she was raped. Right after he raped her, he suddenly detested her. Indeed, David's household started to fall apart after David murdered the innocent Uriah. Third point, David who fooled Uriah later became fooled by his own son, Amnon and Absalom. Jacob who fooled his father Isaac with clothes later was fooled by his sons with clothes. David also fooled Uriah, but David later became fooled by his own sons. When Tamar was raped by her brother, she put ashes on her head, toward the ornate robe she was wearing, put her hands on her head, and wept as loudly as she could. When her brother Absalom heard of this, he consulted her. However, inside him, revenge was scheming. When David later found out about Amnon's behavior, he was furious. However, he did not punish him and two years passed since the instant. But during the two years, Absalom was planning revenge against Amnon. So two years later, when Absalom's ship shearers were at Bar Hajar, near the borders of Ephraim, he invited all the king's sons to come there. Absalom had planned to kill Amnon that night. On that night, Absalom's servants killed Amnon when all David's sons were present. The rest of David's sons were so shocked that they fled the area immediately. Meanwhile, Absalom fled to Geshur and stayed there for three years. David lamented over Absalom for three years. Fourth point, Joab helped Absalom but then later killed him. Joab, who was David's commander of the army, saw the heart of David, grieved for his son Absalom. So Joab planned for Absalom's return. 
Joab sent someone to Tekoa and had a wise woman brought from there. Joab did his best to mend the broken relationship between David and Absalom. Although David found out about Joab's plan, he still permitted the return of Absalom. So after three years in Geisha, Absalom returned to Jerusalem. However, although David permitted Absalom's return, he did not meet with him yet. Meanwhile, Joab, who had helped Absalom return to Jerusalem, later ended up killing Absalom. In the process of Absalom trying to conduct a coup d'etat. Fifth point, Absalom, who did not repent, planned a coup d'etat. Then the king summoned Absalom, and he came in and bowed down with his face to the ground before the king. And the king kissed Absalom. Although David and Absalom had not seen one another for the past five years, Absalom coming back to Jerusalem did not heal their relationship because David had not punished Absalom for killing Amnon. Absalom thought that he had not committed a crime. Indeed, father and son had very different thoughts. Absalom was already planning a coup d'etat. He now planned an opposition against his own father. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zoe is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.